No! Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're going to be going over a couple different things. As you might have seen in the intro, guys, we're going to kind of cover that swag, strike pack, controversy. Honestly, I don't even know if it is a controversy, to be honest. Uh, swag's my boy, but we'll get into that. Also, guys, post update, we wanted to go over the AUG, the new recoil settings we need to use for the Pro Pack, uh, and then the new attachments for the FFAR and the AUG that I am using. Uh, I'm going to share those with you, so stay tuned guys, let's get into this video. One second guys, before we get to the video guys, I did want to mention, uh, I was never able to get contact with Chislo VL, or Chizo VL, I've tried multiple times, can't get a hold of them, so what we're going to do guys, drop your cash app in the comment section below, if you're watching this video, drop your cash app, what we're going to do is we're going to re-roll next weekend, we're going to take everybody's cash app in a randomizer and pick one lucky winner for the $100. So that way I don't have to go reaching out to anybody. Once I pull the cash app, I'm just going to do a randomizer, send you the money right away. Bada bing, bada boom, you have $100 in your account. So we don't have to go through, you know, trying to find somebody. Um, I did, I was able to find Andre Flores. Shout out to him. I gave him the 25 bucks, and he'll vouch for that. So for the $100, guys, drop your cash apps below. You got to be subscribed, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you can win this. We'll probably do it next weekend. I'm um, we'll be doing an M16 video in the next day or two. Uh, stay tuned for that. Enough of this jibber jabber, as I always say. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So you can see the recoil patterns here. I have been tinkering with this and tinkering with this. And to my best knowledge, guys, the best value right now for the Pro Pack is going to be at 135, guys. It's just not the same. You're not going to get that complete anti recoil that you would get with the uh, old Pro Pack since the nerf, guys. There's not much you can do about it. But there is hope, guys. So 135 for the Pro Pack. Now, even for the FFAR, guys, even with the change attachments, the value is still around 95. So you don't need to change that. But for the all, guys, do not sweat it, guys. You can still use the Taylor Drift script. This is with the Taylor Drift script. You still don't get the recoil that you were getting with the Pro Pack with the new update. So don't worry about it, guys. You can absolutely still use the AUG. You're just going to have to use it with the Taylor Drift script if you want to get that anti-recoil. Now, if you're wondering how to use the Taylor Drift script, I have a previous video on that showing you how to set that up and all the values for it in itself. So go check out that video if you have any questions about that. Uh, I'm going to show you the new attachments that I'm using for these guns uh, since the nerf, guys. Uh, there's a lot of changes that kind of went on since the last update. So I'm going to go over those new attachments with you. Uh, right now. All right guys, so these are the attachments I am using post 1.34 update Since they've kind of nerfed the titanium barrel since you're getting more recoil with the AUG This is what I'm using guys for the AUG. We're going with the agency silencer strike team barrel field agent foregrip 45 round drum and the still 3x uh, This is what I prefer um, And a lot of people actually prefer and then for the FFAR uh, It's changed a little bit guys. I go with the suppressor 19.5 task force as always since you're using it more as a smg you want to use a little bit shorter barrel so i found the task force kind of gives you that edge with the damage but you still have a little bit more range than if you're going to use like the ultralight barrel um raider stock the only thing i did change was a lot of people are doing this they're going away from the under barrel and they're using the serpent wraps or either the uh airborne elastic wrap you'll find i prefer the serpent wrap and that's just because of the wraps before the update or the past update the wraps weren't really doing a whole lot but I found they're actually working a lot better now. If you'd rather have the under barrel, definitely still go with the uh, field agent forward grip or the uh, bruiser grip. And that's what I'm using. All right, guys, so we'll do the M16 video on the next one. Now, as far as like the whole swag thing goes, guys, now I can't say for sure that he is using a Cronus or he isn't. Um, I like swag. I watch him a lot. I'm subscribed to him on Twitch. Um, I like a lot of his videos, guys. He's a great player. And like I said, I, I personally, you know, if I had to put money on it, I would say he's not using the Strike Pack. And this is coming from someone that, that has used the Strike Pack and the Cronus. There are other streamers, and I'm not going to say who they are, that, that makes it very obvious to me with the anti-recoil that they have on a controller that do use a Strike Pack or Cronus. I'm not going to mention them. I'm not going to put them on blast. 
but you know what can you do right how can you prove it they never do face cams most of the time or they won't do hand cams uh but swag you know he's pretty out there i guess he's pretty straightforward you know i don't think obviously in my opinion he's using the strike pack probably not but can you prove it 100 percent obviously unless you're there you know while he's playing you're not gonna know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i could care less honestly but um a lot of people are making a big deal out of it and like he said it looks like he just removed the paddle which the the led is leaking through which is a very good possibility uh, but I don't, I don't ever see shake from his controller i don't see him really snapping onto a lot of enemies and his recoil seems to be about you know on point for what it would be without the chronos or strike pack like i said i'm you know I've, I've been on both sides of it so uh take my opinion for what it's worth probably not worth really anything but just thought i'd throw that out there guys i will say this though about the strike pack it is harder to detect versus like the chronos right with the chronos you're going to have your chronos in studio on your pc um it's a little easier to find it's a little bit more well known now with your strike pack all you have to do is have mod central enabled so um so like if i plug in my uh, strike pack right now i can go in edit all my different game packs edit all my mods uh, set it up for whatever you know gun or loadout I'm going to use that day and then I can just switch between the game packs if you're not sure how to do that go back to my previous strike pack video I'll show you how to do that um, and then all I got to do guys once I do that is I just got to delete this off my computer plug this into my controller you're still using the same controller it's going into your computer right so you're not actually plugging it into a Cronus or anything like that and there's really no way of, of knowing for sure so not saying he's using it like i said in my opinion he's not but this is a lot easier to get away with versus like a cronus whereas you know you're actually having to plug it into the cronus itself this just attaches to the back of your controller guys um and then you can set this up all beforehand delete it off your computer have no trace of it and then and then you're good to go you know so that's just my two cents on it like i said it's, it's probably one cent to most people it's not even two cents so take it for what it's worth all right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Like I said, make sure you drop your cash apps below. Hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed for this giveaway we're going to be rolling next week or re-rolling. Sorry to Chislow, man. You just got to get a hold of me. I tried and tried. I couldn't get a hold of you. Uh, that's just the way life works, man. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy it. Go outside. Get some air. Peace.